So, Shannon, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much should the Clippers trust Paul George in this year's playoffs? Oh, the Clippers should trust him a 10. I thought you were going to ask me how much should I trust him. <laughs> because everybody know old, old tax season Paul. Tax season Paul, he going to make you pay in April. <laughs> you have no idea what that's there? That's what they call him, old tax season Paul. Because he make you pay in April. But I need to see what... I'm not laughing. What he going to do? Yeah, I know you're not laughing because you already know how it's going to end. You already know because you've seen this movie before. Mm. Your favorite movie, you watch it probably how many times? Which movie? Your favorite, uh, Wizard of Oz, probably your favorite. Yeah, I do. Die Hard. I'll, I'll yeah, Die Hard. You watched it. I'm probably up to 20. No hide in. Yeah. You've been watching Paul George for the last seven years in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You already know how it's going to end, mm. don't you? You just don't want to admit it. He's playing phenomenal. Okay, so how much do you trust him going into the playoffs? Scale of 1 to 10. Seriously, how much do you trust Paul George? I gave him two. three. A three? Three possible four. Maybe four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's better than I thought you would give it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I gave him three possible four. Okay. So, another night, another bizarre post-game quote from Playoff P. <laughs> See, I, you keep heaving pressure, okay. guy. You keep calling the Playoff P. Okay. Well, I, I have no idea what he was talking about last night about this breakthrough. So, he's trying to explain <laughs> he has an ongoing foot issue. Yeah. And he, he decided... I'm just going to make peace with it and just play through it. Well, that's that's kind of how you have to do it, yeah, right? That's, that's kind of how you – Yeah. That's, what it, that's how it goes, Both players right? play with something, Skip. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm like, and your revelation came from where? I don't know. Right. It just dawned on him. Maybe I should just go out there and just play through it. Yeah, you probably should. Okay. Yeah. And he did. And you know what? There are nights – I watched this whole game last night. At Indiana. And he was phenomenal, Skip. Hey, he was phenomenal. I mean, he was big time – he looked top five-ish last night. Yes. 36. He led the team with eight assists. He had seven rebounds. He made four threes. He, he is making 44% of his three-point shots this mm -hmm. year. Is that good? That's great. That's a career high for him. When he goes up from three, I'm usually like, money. Mm -hmm. He is on an incredible roll. And remember a week ago, Shaq, went out of his way on live TV right. to say, I'm not going to ask you a question in this interview. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to compliment you. Right. He said, I'm proud of you. Right. From manning up and, and uh, against all the no backlash that he make, got, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I get all that. But but I do have trepidation only about him. I don't have trepidation about this team. team okay. But he's been doing it in the absence of his co-star. Right. No Kawhi, all PG. That was hard. Remember, he played there, so maybe he rises and shines when oh, he yeah, goes yeah. back to Indiana. Yeah, I was giving you know they they traded him. You know, I, you still, I, I got beat with he, you because he wanted out. Yeah, he wanted. But Skip, I, I think the thing is, and because you have to understand that PG when he was in Indiana, he played without another co-star, mm -hmm. so he's had to scale his game back somewhat. Play with Russ, scale his game back somewhat. Play alongside Kawhi. You just can't. Well, I mean, if you really want to be successful as a team, will somebody have to scale it back? Uh, and he's willing to do that. You see, I, you know, he scales back. Hey, he ain't got no problem. Hey, Russ, this your show. I'm coming in. He ain't got no problem. Nobody can ever question Paul George's skill level. Yep. Because, Skip, he can shoot the three, pull up in your face. He can put it on the floor, get to the mid-range. He can finish at the rim. He's another solid free throw shooter. Paul George's mid-range is fine. By, he, by the way, he's 90% from the free yeah, throw line. Skip, now, I don't no. believe he's the same defensive player. Because it's hard, Skip, to, de to devote that kind of intensity on the defensive end and still have to give your team 20, sometime between 28 and 35 mm -hmm. on a nightly basis. But Paul George is as good a two-way player as we have in the league. Nobody will question that. The problem that people have is that far too many times over the past couple of years, Skip, we've seen him come up small when it matters the most. That's it. Can't question his game in the regular season. But if he didn't, and if he didn't ever... Skip, if he never came out, came out of that, inside of that podium with Russ and Camelo and said his name was Playoff P, you and I both know he would not be getting this kind of criticism. No, he wouldn't be Pandemic <laughs> P, right? And, and then he fell all apart in the bubble, and he said he faced depression, he needed counseling, mm -hmm. yeah. and they crumbled right on schedule right. against Denver, obviously up 3-1. to one. Right. And he took the brunt of it. Kawhi took a lot of it, too. Right, and rightfully okay. so. Rightfully so. Here's my view of Paul George, who, when he was in Indiana up against LeBron, I sometimes called George Paul because he is not an alpha. He is right. not the leader. 
He is not the go-to superstar of a team. He is a complimentary star. Not a super, but he's complimentary. Mm -hmm. I have been proud of him this year because he is fighting back and he's taking a lot of crap every night from just about everybody, everybody. starting with Devin Booker. Yeah, everybody. People are just all over yeah. him, trash-talking him. You, you know, you show a little, little weakness and they're going to be Absolutely. all over you. Absolutely. You know it's predatory okay. behavior it's in sports. It's predatory. But here's the point. This team is absolutely loaded. Mm -hmm. So all they need from him is on a nightly basis for him to be the complimentary star to Kawhi. Because look look what they're doing. Look look at Marcus Moore Sr. He, he's he, having his best year yet. Ever. Seriously. Ever. 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 He, he, he takes three threes last night and made all three all of, of them. them. Oh. And right now Rondo is coming off the bench, but he is going to be the closer of this team. Reggie Jackson, they're continuing to pat him on the head and, and give him his due as the starting point guard of this team. Mm -hmm. Reggie is a two guard who can get you 30 on any given yeah. night if needed. Yeah. If you don't pay any attention to him, he will get you 30. Yeah. But he ain't going to get nobody no sense. He's trying to get his shot, not okay. anybody else, no, their shot. He is not, <laughs> he's not the point guard. And obviously, he had four assists last night in 30 minutes. Not, not terrible, but the point is, Nicholas Batum is now coming off the bench, and look what he did last night. He blocked five shots. Mm -hmm. This team can keep coming. Terrence Mann has become a basketball player what? who contributes at the highest level. That's what made Lou Will expendable. I know. I His agree. play. That is exactly right. You, you, you can't tell me that the great Jerry West, who oversees his team, didn't say, you know what? We we're good, right? We got Terrence Mann hey, because we need because Skip, we got to get him more minutes because you playing Lou Will, Ooh. Lou Will was cutting to his minutes. Let's give this kid more minutes. I, I agree with you. Rondo didn't didn't shoot the ball particularly well, but look at his plus minus. Yeah, plus fourteen in, in less than in less than nineteen minutes. And he brought Batum was twenty two. I mean, the guy the guy they're, they're playing they're playing extremely well. I but. It, like you said, uh, Andre Drummond can't get rid of the big penguin. Mm -hmm. I don't think Paul George would ever get him a that, pandemic well, he, piece. He probably won't until they win a championship yes. or at least win the West and get to the finals. Right. That would do it. This team is still leading the NBA in three-point shooting and free-throw shooting. To oh, me, that will translate. Yeah, and, they, and they, they're, they're on a pace to break uh, Dallas's Record efficiency, offensive Office efficiency record last year. They are. So they're, but they're way ahead. I mean, they're way ahead in in the uh, uh, in the efficiency thing. Skip, they like one nineteen, one twenty to one sixteen. Okay, so I want to know scale of one to ten how scared you are of the Clippers. That's the key question. LeBron coming back? Yes. AD coming back? I think so, but I'm not as sure about that one. I'm sure about LeBron because he's just resting up right now. See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I knew you go do that, Skip. I knew you <laughs> go do it. It ain't no well, resting. It's obvious. It's okay. It ain't it's no okay. obvious. It's Skip, okay. you saw the man I, get I'm hurt. I'm complimenting you. No, I want no compliment. I'm blessing this. No, 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 no. I don't want you to bless. He needed Skip. to rest, and see. he got his excuse. See, see? I don't think Wait, see, I knew you was going to do that. I ain't scared of nothing. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.